Well, Easter is just a week away and it's so exciting. And I know that many of you want to connect with God in a unique way in this season. Or maybe you're actually exploring God and you're wondering, hey, can I try to connect with him? What would that be like? Or maybe you're coming to God, wanting him to move in your life in a specific way or the life of someone else. And that's why tomorrow we're doing something a little different. We're starting a journey to Easter, four days of prayer and fasting. Prayer is great on its own. Fasting actually can be great on its own, but the two together are even that much better. And it creates an opportunity for God to really do something in your life. Now, fasting is giving up one of God's good gifts in the short term to remind you that what's most important is the giver of those gifts. And today I wanna to talk to you about cravings. I think in our culture, we're constantly told, man, whatever craving you have, you need to satisfy it right away. When you crave something sweet, you wanna grab chocolate. When you crave to escape, you jump on Netflix. When you crave distraction, you jump on social media. And often, we're just satisfying those short-term cravings with short-term things. But when we think about them, when we sit in the silence, what really satisfies our souls? What really satisfies your soul? Fasting from Netflix, from social media, from food, from all kinds of different things, when, when we crave those things, it's a reminder that we should really be first and foremost craving for a connection with God. This is what it says in Matthew chapter five. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Jesus says himself in John, he says, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will not hunger and he who believes in me will never thirst. As you begin your fast tomorrow at a certain point, you're gonna crave that thing you're fasting from. And when you do, fasting is a reminder not to, to fulfill that craving, but to remind yourself, no, ultimately I'm gonna be satisfied in God and instead, I'm gonna pray and set aside time to connect with him. And when we do, he shows up in our lives in a unique way. And so tomorrow, here's what I wanna challenge you to do. I want you to come to God and ask him what he would ask for you to fast during this four day journey. And then begin to give that up first thing tomorrow. And then we're gonna release a devotional every single day on the journey to help you reflect as we head towards Easter. And when we break that fast, it's gonna be a reminder, a communion of all that Jesus gave up for you and for me. I think this could be really a unique way for you to connect with God in, in a way that maybe you haven't before for the very first time. So won't you join us? Go to connectuschurch.com slash fast to get all of the information and looking forward to being on the journey with you and what God is gonna do in our lives as we reflect and we celebrate and connect with him in this season in maybe a way that you never have before.